Hey everybody, so I want to start this video off by putting a disclaimer out there that this video has nothing to do with coupons or deals or funny stories. Um, it's kind of a rant, but not, it's more of a response than a rant. Um, so I just want to start off by giving you guys some backgrounds about this political topic that is happening um, because it will help to set the stage for the reason why I'm doing this freaking video. Um, I've also debated all day whether I should do this video or how to handle the situation, but I decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, so I'm going to just put this video out there. Um, okay, so background information. Susan G. Komen Foundation, the Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation, um, you know, pink, pink everywhere, everybody buy pink. Um, they do great things, they have like race for the cure and all that stuff. They announced that they are going to defund or pull grant funding from 17 of the 19 planned parenthood locations that they previously um, had given grants to. Um, this caused a huge uproar and everybody blamed politics. It's true. If you Google this, it will just come up blanket of politics. So the reason uh, why many people want to believe that this happened is because there is a woman on the, let me just see here. She's on the leadership team, they call it of the Susan G. Komen, it's actually like, yeah, she's not even on the board of directors, she's on the leadership team. Um, her name is Karen Handel Handel, she's the Senior Vice President of Public Policy. Um, I'm going to link below where you can go and read up more about her. Um, but she ran for office. Um, I believe that she ran for governor um, in the state of Georgia and she lost. She ran as a Republican. Um, in doing so, she publicly declared that she doesn't believe that Planned Parenthood should be funded with tax dollars. Um, that's kind of just your standard Republican thing. Um, I mean, if you're running for office at a higher level and you need votes to win. So things like that are just just kind of a standard if you're running on one t side of the ticket or the other. I mean, there's just there's things that you just don't, even if you do believe it, you just don't run on it. Um, I'm not saying that she believes one way or the other. I'm just saying it's no surprise to me that as a Republican, she voiced her opinion on the subject the way that she did. It's kind of like President Obama when he ran for um, president. He said that he believed that marriage should be between a man and a woman. I don't know that that is actually what he believes um, because I know that he is for gay rights as he, you know, got rid of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, which I applaud him for. Uh, so this is like firestorm. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, you know, Susan G. Croman, did it, you know, they're playing into this Republican thing, da 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 Um, Susan G. Coleman, the founder, Nancy Brinker, she has come out and publicly declared, as did the whole foundation um, in a public statement, saying that, no, Karen Handel, Handel, whatever, had absolutely nothing to do with this decision. The reason why that they made this decision is because they have a policy in effect, which says if a organization is being investigated by state, local, federal, you know, investigators, authorities, that they can't give money to them. Planned Parenthood is currently being investigated by Congress, I believe, um, for the possible like misappropriation of funds um, for abortion. This is just what's happening. So, going along with their policy, they can't give Planned Parenthood money right now. Um, Susan G. Komen, founder Nancy Brinker, actually stopped by MSNBC today to discuss the specifics and the reaction to news that the organization would cut its funding for Planned Parenthood screening and treatment initiatives. 
Um, Brinker spoke with Andrea Mitchell, um, who's a breast cancer survivor. Um, and she said that, and this is quoted, Karen did not have anything to do with this. And let me just take a step back for a minute. We are not defunding Planned Parenthood. We have three grants that will go on this year, and they will probably be eligible for the next grant cycle. So that's what's happening with that. Um, I mean, my first thought on this was even if Karen Handel, Handel had anything to do with this, she is the senior vice president, or the vice president, oh no, senior vice president of public policy. She's not on the board of directors. For a decision of this magnitude to be made, one person cannot just be like, I don't like this. We're not going to fund this anymore. This is not how it works. It's not how it works. There needs to be votes. And, like, it's just not how the world works. So, with that all being said, yesterday I was um, looking on YouTube. I was, you know, like, chillaxing on the couch. And I was looking on YouTube and I was trying to find, you know, if any of my favorite YouTubers had uploaded any new videos. And I saw that Pinching Pennies... Uh, 2011, which is Pinching Pennies with Priscilla, um, has a new video up, and it was titled OMG Susan B. Coleman Foundation! Exclamation point. Um, so I was intrigued because this channel is always about coupons, and I really like it. I like Priscilla. Um, I love her style. I like her deals. I like her channel. She's super nice, and she's been super supportive of my channel. Um, so I watched her video, and I watched it again, and I watched it again, and I watched it a fourth time, and I thought about this a long time, um, but then I, I commented. I commented on her video, and the, what I commented about was this. Coleman Foundation decided to stop their grant money that they have been giving to the Planned Parenthood um, Foundation for the past five years. And the reason why they decided to stop it is for pure politics. Turns out that the new uh, VP, I think it is, of the Coleman Foundation, she is an avid right-wing Republican. So therefore, she is totally against any organization whatsoever that has anything to do with abortions. And so um, she decided because of her personal thing about abortion, she decided that she wanted to stop the funding to Planned Parenthood. Okay. So, I commented on that part of her video because I am a Republican. I'm an avid right-wing Republican. However, um, I'm not like, I think when people are like Republican, People think of a few things. They think racist. They think anti-gay rights. They think religious. They think um, against abortion or pro-life. Okay, I'm like, none of those things, but I am a Republican. Um, so I did take offense to um, the statement, A, because it was, I felt, anti-Republican. It was taking a Republican and, like, putting a blanket over it. And, like, I'm sorry, but if I said... My, there's a tennis ball, and my dog, being a dog, likes to chase tennis balls. You would think in your mind that that means that dogs generally like to chase tennis balls, right? So, by her statement, the way that it was worded and the way that she said it, yeah, I felt like it was a statement against Republicans in general. Like, because if you are a Republican, you are against abortion, because that's what all Republicans are. And... I just, I'm like, no, that's not true, you know, I'm kind of, I guess I'm just a little sensitive to it, because, um, I've been called so many things, including racist, um, just because I vote a certain way, so I did take offense to that, um, and then I did research, because if I'm going to debate or defend or speak on a subject, I'm going to make sure I'm properly educated, and I have the chops to back it up. Like, I have facts, you know, that's like ammunition to put my gun, so when I need to shoot my gun, I'm prepared. So, um, I left a comment on the video after much thought, 
And my comment was, as an evil, avid right-wing Republican, I gotta say I was a bit taken back when I saw that pinching pennies with Priscilla turned into pinching politics with Priscilla. For the record, being a Republican doesn't make a person totally against any organization whatsoever that has to do with abortions. How do I know? I'm pro-choice. I also know that Susan G. Komen Foundation gave Planned Parenthood $580,000 in 2010, a year that Planned Parenthood, a nonprofit, netted an $18.5 million profit. Okay, so because of that comment, this morning I was greeted with a almost 10 minute video by Priscilla that just kind of freaked me out because, you know, like, even when if you're like with somebody all the time and they say your name out loud, you're kind of like, what? <laughs> you know? So it's really weird when someone that you've never met says your name in a YouTube video and you have no idea that that's going to happen and it's not because they like you and they want to say, hey, you're cool. It's because they're ranting ab about you <laughs> for almost 10 minutes, um, which I guess is what I'm doing now. Um, so. The video that Priscilla posted, um, I just, I'm still not really sure what to think about it. I mean, I think if you're going to post a video about politics, which she says it's not about politics, but it's totally about politics. Um, I mean, it shouldn't be because politics played absolutely zero part in Susan G. Komen Foundation's decision. Um, but your video made it about politics. Um, so I guess that my comment offended and affected Priscilla. And for that, I'm sorry, because I didn't mean to like make this into this huge like YouTube battle or something. It's weird. I don't get it. Um, I do feel kind of bullied. I feel like I was put out there. Um, Priscilla has said that I could have private messaged her, but I feel like if you're going to start talking about politics and you have comments open on your page, it's like the, it's, you know, it's like a, a teeter-totter or a seesaw. If you start talking about politics like this, you know, it's going to go like this and you're going to have to, it's one of those subjects, you know, it's the country that we live in. We're very much on the, the size of things. We're not really driving the middle too much right now. Um, I live in Wisconsin, Priscilla, if you're into politics, you know what's going on here. It's absolutely insane. So, I just want to, like, get the facts out there on the subject and say that, um, my comment wasn't meant to be, like, F you, I'm a Republican. It was meant to be, like, you know, this isn't about politics. It shouldn't be about politics. Please don't generalize, you know, put me in this pot of being a Republican or whatever. Um, I guess I was a little bit offended and affected by Priscilla's video too, so, but, um, I just think putting up a response video like that, um, it's just, it's weird to me, I don't really get it, um, it's, I do feel a little bit bullied, <laughs> um, I, I don't know, like, I don't get it because the video that you posted for yourself really was about politics and it really was um I'm sorry but it was sorely misinformed um so that's that like I don't know what else to say about this I don't like to talk about politics on YouTube I like talking about coupons and fun stuff and like telling silly stories and making you guys laugh so I don't know I don't know what else to say but I'm sorry Priscilla I hope we can be cool because I really do like your channel and I love your hair and <laughs> I just whatever so I hope we can be cool if we can hug it out <laughs> and with that I gotta go um I'm late I'm running so late so bye guys talk to you later peace peace in the YouTube east